We all thought Mournful Katana was a really, really bad combat pass. But it gets worse. With Grand Master Sub-Zero, his combat pass released, I think, a couple weeks ago, and probably the only redeeming quality of his combat pass is that you have a guaranteed Circle Shadow Nightwolf for $20 after completing it. That's the only thing that's cool about this combat pass for Season 8. But it doesn't even matter what character was in here, that was always going to be available. We already paid and got all of the rewards. And I'll put that on screen if you haven't seen it already. We didn't get anything good. We ascended him to max, and we got to try him out. All right, we got to do the brutality, as usual. Uh, I want to give him a fair matchup. The first thing I want to go over, which is the most important thing to note, with his brutality gear on him, you are unable to put a block breaker on, which is a huge problem. Also, I like how his passive is literally just replaces himself with a decoy. That's it. That is such a weird Comet Pass character. We want to see new characters with the Comet Pass. I and many people will agree that newer characters are lacking the Comet Pass. I get you want to do older characters first, but that's not cool. A lot of these older characters are not worth using your ascensions on. And with that being said, what would be the point of giving it to older characters if no one wants to upgrade them. With no block breaker being present, we're able to put rocking bowling stones on Tanya. So we can still have a block breaker with Sub-Zero. I think we're gonna need to do it because we wanna do brutal ending. It's not gonna be fun without a block breaker. And that's why rock and bowling stones will work because it's gonna get block breaking to the whole team regardless. We have Tanya on so we can have fire and ice we don't have a freeze team enabled we could have but yeah i wasn't feeling it sub-zero you suck and you are nothing more than a pay-to-play scum that's not very nice i don't really appreciate that sub-zero all right let's get one brutal ending going it will not take long for me to convince you that i am the best combat pass that's more common than getting it with mk11 sub-zero okay wow these combos are going well <laughs> what whoa we're, we're having, like, a good time here? Um... What?! Um, okay- Okay, then. I am genuinely surprised. Can you just repeat this combo forever? Maybe I was wrong. You just now realized that. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> what? What is this? Why were we able to do that combo forever? Let's focus. Kind of a cool victory stance, by the way. Okay. <laughs> he already impressed me, game one. Uh, this is this is not happening, right? This is not happening. Did we just find out that Sub-Zero is actually an incredible character? Based on these combos and brutality alone, it could work maybe in other towers too? I'll choose Earth Realm for my, uh, my testing. Nice. Get him down. Do it again. We're letting the bleed take over. That's why we're not attacking. We can get one brutal ending. Per perfect. Okay. I guess that's that's one brutal ending down the drain. I guess let's use SP2 just because we've. Oh my goodness. Actually, let's see if we can keep doing this forever again. Oh yeah, yeah. We can just keep spamming this combo forever. It seems. The only way this doesn't work is if we our block breaker doesn't doesn't uh, work. But it seems like we just keep getting a block breaker. We keep getting lucky. We also freeze them and it cause bleed. I, I might as well try x-ray. Once your shield runs out. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm starting to warm up to Sub-Zero at this point. Yeah, x-ray it up, baby.
All right, let's do his uh, brutal ending then. Are you kidding me? I was not a fan of that. Can this combo be repeated on good diamond characters? Those were gold characters. Maybe it's just an exception because they're gold characters. Although on Assassin Jade, she didn't get a single hit on us and we killed her off without her evading once. That's why I'm just like confused right now. Oh my gosh. Not even one hit on us? Not one? <laughs> I'm in disbelief right now! What? How is this character caring so much? We don't even have to finish a combo under, we can just keep spamming. I don't believe my eyes. Morphal Katana was genuinely bad. This, on the other hand, this might be worth the ascension, actually. <laughs> Why? Why? Why was I so unbelievably wrong? Oh, Jade. Jade is where we're going to struggle, right? We have to know if this strategy works against Jade. Because she can just, you know, at any point decide to evade us. No? No evade? No evade? No evasion? No evasion? There we go. There we go. Now she evades. Let's use SP2. I, I want to get a block breaker against her first. Oh my goodness, don't use SP2. Why? Ice Clone will save us. Not for very long, let's use SP3. All right, now Jade tags back in. And we can try to get Brutal Ending against her. Seems like the only person who's put up an actual fight against him is MK11 Jade, but she puts up a fight against every single person. Sub-Zero, you are much better than I expected, but don't think you're gonna get let off this easy. We're only nine minutes in, okay? You need more testing, my brother. MK11 Rain is a good test for you because he's a team soaker. Let's see how you hold up against another diamond team. I'm kind of glad that MK Mobile first showed us goals and they're like, oh yeah, now, now let's show the diamonds. Okay, we cause bleed, then we use SP2. Oh, evasion is definitely going to be his downfall. Another, another, uh, combo. Oh, goodness gracious. It was another combo, but we had some struggles there. We'll see if this infinite combo strat works against Raiden. All right. Kill Rain off. Liu Kang tags in. We could try the infinite combo against Raiden. <laughs> we just keep doing the brutal combo under. So infinite combo. Work or no work? Well, it's hard to say when they just keep tagging out. I, I did not think that tagging out was going to be our weakness. I thought that the fighting part was going to be our weakness. The unexpected hero of our combat past time. Right here. Not all heroes wear capes, y'all. He uses X-Ray. Of course, but guess who doesn't die from a- Oh, he's not maxed. That would explain it. Gosh. Raiden keeps tagging in. One of the best things about the character so far is that when they tag in, my combo still finishes. That doesn't happen for every character. All right, this is going to kill me, but Ice, ice Clone or Ice Decoy. Please don't use this B2. I really need this. I really need this, okay? <laughs> Perfect, now we tag out. I knew that was gonna happen, I should have blocked. Boom! Wait, why? Fire immune? Okay. Fine. You won't be ice immune. Wait, what? You will be ice immune. What? <laughs> You'll be firing ice immune both. Let's use SP2, we haven't used it once. Watch this, this is gonna be fun. So first we use our Ice Clone, then we tag him with Scorpion. 
I love Injustice Scorpion. Just his looks alone, though. <laughs> That's the only thing useful about Injustice Scorpion. Wait, well, he's not block breaking. Damn. Damn. Okay, okay. So now we tag him with Grandmaster Sub Zero. Use his P1. We're going to wait it out. Actually, brutal ending, baby. Brutal ending. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, actually, done. that's not very good. Use this SP1. Alright. SP2 it up, baby. Okay, we use SP1. Freezer, tag in. Use SP2. Combine it with Psych Bomb and kill her. That is a decent strategy if you want to have some fun. But overall, that's a difficult setup because you have to make sure that you don't lose your special attack and everything. Regardless, I had some fun playing with Grandmaster Sub-Zero. The end result of this video is to say, I underestimated my guy. I underestimated him. I know that a whole team of Sub-Zeros can be really good, but I did not expect Grandmaster to be good alone by himself. I don't know why, but this, this kind of pass actually works. It works. And Linkway Tower should be repeating very shortly. So this is some good good stuff if you want a decent Sub-Zero character for a Comet Pass. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Another day of use for you, Sub-Zero. Take it and run with it. Let me just give a big shout out to my YouTube members. We have Lace, MK God, Jeremy, Friendly Guy with Asperger, Alwer, Giuliano Games, JD Fur, Double V, Ajaj, Warlord, JDB, Legend Stone, Sammy, Bagor, Grimmeramia, Goku, Titan Beast, Tolga, Mr. Dragon, Stan Marsh, Compet Max, Aiden, Katana, Plain Punch, Shocks YT, Jeff, Fitz Magic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, and MK Fire. Thank you all for being YouTube members and welcome to the new members. And yeah, peace out.